Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to my new Let's Play. My name is Siporos and this is Barrow Hill, The Dark Path. A horror point-a-click adventure game developed by Shadow Tor Studios and published by Iceberg Interactive in 2016. This is a sequel to Barrow Hill, Curse of the Ancient Circle from the same developers, which I have already played through on this channel. So if you want to watch my let's play of the first game before this, then you can get to the first episode via a link under the description below. Now, about the first game, it was... alright. It had great atmosphere, and, and, what, li and what little uh, cheesy voice acting the, uh, the game had was amusing. I just hope that it had more cheesiness, which is what I was kinda expecting from the game, and more characters to meet and talk to. Some of the puzzles were a bit flawed in my opinion, uh, and the repeating jump scares became annoying, and the actual threat was... hard to take seriously. It was actually more silly than scary. I'm not gonna say what the great evil killing people at Barrow Hill was, in case you want to watch the Let's Play yourself, but those who did watch it should know what I am referring to. Ever watched any low-budget horror B-movies that were more silly and ridiculous than scary? That's what the game was like in my opinion. Which is not necessarily a bad thing if you do it right. Anyway, judging from, uh, judging from, from the trailer and screenshots that I have seen on this game's Steam page, this seems more serious and, and so maybe this one will actually be scary. All I know is that we are going back to the same service station at Barrow Hill from the first game, and that we will be dealing with druidic lore and Celtic myths, and that we are basically have to do the same thing we did in the last game. Make the offerings before the night ends. Oh, and before we start, I remind you guys that after this game, I'll play the winner of my point and click adventure game poll number 2. In case you haven't seen that video where I introduced the four candidates and voted in the poll, I'll provide links to the video and, and the poll under the, under, the, under the description below once again. You have time to vote till the last episode of this Let's Play. And while you're at it, if you would be so kind and also fill a simple survey regarding my channel and its direction, I would greatly appreciate that. And before we start, and I already have one complaint about this game already, and that is the options menu. Yeah, as you can see, it's about just as poor as the as the first games. I can't even adjust the sounds of this game at all. This game is all, is is kind of loud. I'm actually using OBS here and to to record this game just just because I can uh, I can uh, adjust the uh, volumes of this game uh, in OBS. So yeah, so that's my first complaint. But enough about that, let's start the game. You're listening to Emma Harry on BHR. The autumn equinox is with us once again, a powerful night in the pagan calendar. It's been 10 years since the event at Barrow Hill. Many people lost their lives that night. I saw things, things that shouldn't exist in our modern world. An ancient power disturbed after thousands of years. Yet the cover-up continues and those now gone are labelled as missing. The so-called inquest was a smokescreen. Industrial accident at the service station. I don't buy it, neither should you. The grieving families deserve answers. They need answers. There are those like me seeking the truth, seeking answers. If you're still out there, keep looking, keep searching. You're listening to the fabulous Emma Harry of And here we are, folks. Hmm. Uh, I had the screen flashes every time when I look the other direction. That's a bit annoying already. <laughs> I just started the game and, I, and I'm already complaining. Well, anyway, so... 
So this is a service. Yeah, this is the service station. Welcome to Barrow Hill Radio. And that's the. Hmm. Keep out. Oh, it's been barred. Okay. So that's so that's the diner. Oh yeah, and and there's the playground, and that leads well to the. Uh, and this way led to the. Well, it, it, it actually led to many places, but one of those places is the radio station. Uh, can I check the inside of my car? Yes, I can. Uh, shut up for a moment. Can I? Can I please quiet you down? So this is Barrow Hill Radio. BHR. Okay. 15.3. I think that's the same uh, the radio... What about it was called? Radio something. Radio frequency. Yeah, that one. But can I please sh shut this thing down? I guess I can't. I just have to deal with it. But is th isn't there anything else in the car? Really? Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Oh, and by the way, by the way, folks, uh, as you may, as you may see, you uh, there, 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 there are those black parts on the uh, left and right, left and right side of the uh, game once again. Hmm? Oh, I have a phone. Unknown caller. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? I need to catch my breath. Is, is that you, the j -j journalist? Well, I don't know. I see your light. I'm Mia. Mia Kendall. Emma Harry g gave me your number. Uh huh. She says you can help. Okay. Something is wrong with th this place. You think? Barrow Hill. I, I thought I could understand. The dark path. And we have a title here, folks. The Dark Path. Better keep moving. Okay, you do that. <laughs> she actually looked kind of funny when she was running there. But anyway, like I was saying, so yeah, as you can see, there are there are black parts on the sides again. I uh, I could have I I could have played this on a full screen, if you will. But that uh, but that would have that would have also st uh, stretched the the, the the actual game screen. It it would have. It would have uh, uh, stretched it, and I didn't, and I didn't want to do that. So, so I, so I, so I decided that you know what, let let's play this game in the aspect ratio like like uh, like the developers intended. So, okay, so what do we have here? So these are the missing people. Let's see if is there anyone that I can. Uh, recognize. Oh, hey, that's a, that's a dog. Uh, what, what was the dog's name? Uh, I f I forgot the dog's name, but it was a, f a female name. Well, anyway, yeah, there's a dog. Shame. Let's see. Missing. The Emmett family have been missing since September twenty. No, two six two thousand six two thousand six. I was about to say twenty sixteen. 2006. They are known to have stopped at the Barrow Hill service station. Okay. When my brother went away. We miss you. Please come home, mommy. Still missing. Barry Marsh is missed, missed by his grandkids, Timmy, Jilly and Biddy. Biddy? What the hell kind of name is Biddy? Well, that's a lame name. I apologize if it. I apologize. I apologize uh, if if any of you watching watching this is named Bimmy or Biddy. But seriously, Biddy, what the hell kind of a name is that? Again, I apologize, but that's just that's just silly. And here, a Wincy. Oh yeah, that that was a dog's name. I guess that this I guess that, that icon means that I can actually do something with this picture, but I don't have any items here. Besides my phone. Those we love do not leave us. 
they walk beside us every day. Uh, invisible and silent, but always, but always near. Still, still loved, still missed, and something, whatever. Can I pick up these candles? Does it look like it? No. But where is that? Where is that one guy? The very first guy uh, whom we run into in uh, at the star service station in the first game. I forgot his name too. Well, that guy looks creepy. Who is missing a scarecrow from Batman? Scarecrow from Batman is missing, folks. What about here? Oh, light uh, matches. That would become handy. Matches. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that was actually. That was a very uh, dramatic way to, to to show you that, aha, we have found matches. Missing. Ben Kendo. I don't... Was it, was it this guy? The, the, the guy whom we met at the service station in the first game? If you have information, please contact my mom and dad. At the patrol station at work. <laughs> Wait, not fat. Ben Kendall. I, I, don't, I don't think it I don't think it was that guy. The name doesn't ring a bell. Oh it I'm watching the same picture. I'll leave. Okay. L let's try again. Can I pick up this no, does it look like I can pick pick up the candles? Ah, oh, but I can I can light that one, I think. Yes, I can. What good does it do, what good does it do for us? I have no idea. I guess we are just paying our respects. Oh, I can light the smaller candles, okay. Anything else that I can Check out. Does it look like it? No. And the way, and this is the back door that leads to leads to the diner, but it's barred. Oh, there's some candles burning there too. Okay, so this place has been abandoned, completely. Oh, and 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 there's and there's even some a uh, wildlife growing in there. How long were we gone? I mean. I, I assume I assume that the guy whom we are playing as right now is the same guy from the first game. So how many years has it been since uh, since the events of uh, at the Barrow Hill? And here's the playground. So for now they catch my interest, but we can. Uh, hmm? Now th this would have led us to the backyard. Normally, at least in the first game, it, it did. But apparently we can't. Apparently we are too fat to go through this hole. I don't think any of these items will help. Okay. Okay, okay. And we can't get past our car, I take it. Okay. And we can get to the... And we can get to the menu from there, okay. Keep out. How about no? Hmm. Does it look like there's anything else that we can do here at the moment for now? Oh, is there? I think th that's a path. But we don't have the option to actually go there. Do we need a lantern or something again? Just like in the first game? We couldn't we couldn't go to some very dark areas because we didn't have lantern. Bus stop. Saint Awful. Barrow Hill. Mm-hmm. Anything in the trash can? Well nothing but trash. Trash that we don't need. And here's the phone booth. Something tells me that the phone is still not working here. Mm-hmm. And there's nothing else that I can do here, I don't think. Okay. 
Hmm. Was this here in the first? Oh, hey, look at look at these mushrooms. We we were picking up lots of mushrooms in the first game. I wonder if it, I wonder if you have to do the same thing here. So, the old woods are a rare example of unspoiled Cornish woodland, of the usual tourist trails and guides. The woods are a fine mix of uh, deciduous trees, rare species of fern, and 100, 174 varieties of moss. That's a, that's a lot of moss. The woods are also a mystery to archaeologists, as legend says, that no one has managed to find and survey all the unusual sites hidden within the green, including Druid's Pool, first time I'm heard about that, a small natural spring, thought to be an offerings pond, used for millennia by witches, pagans, and Bronze Age tribes. Baroquite the stone remains of a huge Neolithic barrow mound, a 4,000-year-old burial site. Barrow form, ruins, the last remains of an old 17th, uh, 17th century farm, a site of keen interest to, to, to weirdos, pagans, gods, and <laughs> ghostbusters. <laughs> okay. So there's ghostbusters here too. Can we look at the map? Apparently we can't. Okay. Oh, we can't go there. Oh yeah, because we need the lantern, I take it. We can't use our phone here, do we? Can we? No, we can't use the phone to... Uh, to bring some light and use it as a flashlight. Some phones have that feature. It looks like we can't go there either. At... I just noticed that I just noticed that uh, that leaves are falling. That that's ac that actually looks kind of nice. In the fir in the first game, there was just one uh, static uh, screen with very little with very little to. Actually, I don't think that there was any kind of movement at all. Oh, look at look at those clouds. The clouds are moving. They were not moving in the first game either. I think. They were not moving in the first game. Okay, so can I move these things away? I guess I can't. I must have I must have missed something. Hmm. Oh, didn't want to leave just yet. I don't know, burn the damn thing. Okay. And we can't even track the phone like we can track the matches. Okay. So at least I know that we can't use the phone for anything else but calling and receiving. For calling and for receiving calls. There seriously isn't anything in this car. I guess not. And there is this, there is this pad over here, but the game doesn't even give us the option to go there. Let's check this place real quick. Does it look like I'm missing something? Anything in the phone booth? Nothing but some. Leaflets, posters, and and spider webs. I actually even recognize some of these uh, leaflets from the first game. Uh, this one and that one. And I think this was in the game too. But yeah, nothing, nothing here. Hmm. So we need light. Wait, what's in here? What's this? Oh, it's just... Uh, it's just leaflets inside. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is actually kind of funny, the way... Uh, the, the way... The way how the uh, game an announces that you have picked up an item. Oh. Okay, so... Barrow Woods. Picnic area, Druid's Pool. 
the wishing stones old oak storm of four service station ruins so the service station is the phone phone box not phone booth so we are over here so we are we are here right now phone mast oh yeah that one and barrow quot quit the Barrow Hill region project is funded by the lottery and the BHS support. In other words, a Barrow Hill. Ba Barrow Hill. Actually, never mind. I, I misread that. BH support. Barrow Hill support. Fund, fund in memory of the victims of Q306. Whatever that means. Okay, but. So we got a map of some sort, okay. Old Corn is farmhouse. I don't think we were at the farmhouse in the first game. Old Oak. Picnic area. We might have been there. Wishing stones. I don't. Yeah, I, I don't think that we ran that we ran into fishing stone uh, stones. Or or if we did, then the game didn't really tell us what they were. Maybe they were not, nothing important back then. Druid's pool. So where is the service station? It's, it's light green. Uh, light green. Light gray. But it's not doesn't show here. Oh I can't even look at look at closer like this. Okay, that's neat. I don't I don't think that why this is necessary, but whatever. Okay, so we got that. We got something. But that still doesn't Hmm, didn't want to do that. <laughs> okay, okay. So that that was that. We can't use the phone here. And can we use matches? No, we can't use matches as as our source of light here. And we can't go there. At least the game is not uh, is not giving us the option to. We can't uh, and and we can't uh, check out the con and we can't check out the trash in case there's something uh, there's something that we could use. There was nothing in the phone box. And. And the radio is still going. There is an uncanny atmosphere tonight, listeners. The HR I mean, seriously, is there... What? It's the autumn equinox, when day and night are equal. Okay, that... Power time is <laughs> okay, that scared me a bit. You can feel the energy on the air tonight. So what is that, kid? Let's get those vibes flowing. A witch? Welcome to Barrow Hill Radio. Okay. <laughs> Okay, that was a lot scarier than than uh, that than what than what we encountered in the in the first game. That's for sure. So at least this game got that going. Is there something over here that I have missed? Like maybe there's a flashlight or something. Can't pick up these candles. What about anything here? Nope. I'm clicking here, folks, but does it look like there's anything else that I can pick up? Hmm. I wonder if there's if there's any other way to get to get to the to get to the other side of this fence. Oh, there's some matches over there too, candles, ketchup, and I assume that that's, well, well, it could be sugar or salt. Most likely salt. But that's pretty much all that I can, that, that's pretty much everything. Everything interesting that I can see anyway.
And we can't go there. <laughs> it's the fir very first episode and I'm already stuck. Man, we can't get... We can't walk around the car. How could I... There we go. Oh, he didn't want to leave. Hmm. Does it look like I can... Yeah, that... Does it seem like we can get through this fence from here? Hmm. Well, we, well, we could, we could get inside there through there, but but this guy simply refuses to go around this damn car. That's a bit annoying. What does what does that say? Charles Carrot Farms or Farm. Anything interesting here? I might have to call that number. Well, okay. L let's let's see. Can I even use the damn phone? I can't even use the damn phone. Can I access inventory here? Yes, but. The guy simply won't pick up the phone. Hmm. The Emmett family have been missing since September 2000, 2006. They are known to have stopped at the Barrow Hill service station. Where there's a phone number, but we don't seem to be able to actually use the damn phone. It's a moody night, listeners. The HR station is surrounded by swirling fog. Hmm, let's Dutty switch Bobby. channel. This is Gus Bevan. We need help. She's coming hmm? for us. The dark the path. Hill service station. Anyone, help us. Oh, so there's people inside there. SIM card? He'll show you what happened. I've hidden them just in case. People have to know. I repeat, this is Gus Bevan. We need help. She's coming for us. We were at the Barrow Hill service station. Okay, Anyone so he, now he's repeating us. himself. The eyes She's of the here. Crowd. She's coming. Find the SIM card. It will show you everything. Okay. So, so now we know that there's people in there. Can't see them from here though. But now... How do we... Uh, excuse me, what was your name again? Uh, again. Okay, okay, tell me your name. Just in case, people have to know. I repeat, this is Gus Bevan. Gus? Gus Bevan. Uh, Barry Marsh. Emmett family. Wait, was it? Nah, it's Ben Kendall here. And besides, I don't see a... I don't see a phone number here. Hmm. 
Uh, taken too soon, sorely missed by all the boozer, boozers at the Green Man uh, Wishwood. And last seen on the main Saint Awful. Right. So we have to get to the service inside the service station, obviously. Maybe that's where we can find a lantern too, or something. The only way that I can, the only way that where I think we can, where we can, how we can get there is through here. But hmm, are we have to? I guess we have to find an axe or something. Hmm, didn't want to do that. So I guess we have to find an axe or or something or something else that we can that we can do to hack this uh, to hack down this fence. That's what I'm guessing that we have to do here. Is there anything that I have missed here? Anything here? Does it look like it? No. Just in case people have to know. I repeat, this is gun. You sure like to repeat that a lot? Hmm. I really, I really don't understand that. Why can't we just, I don't know, uh, go over that? Climbing over that shouldn't be that hard. Hmm. Can't use the matches. Can't use the phone. She's there and she's coming. She she sure is taking her sweetest time. There's lots of stuff here, but nothing that we can actually use. <laughs> I, ac I Oh, we can pick up the candle, okay. Okay, so that's what, what we can do. But now, what can we... Can we use the candle to... As our source of light? Let's see. Well, we can't go there. Let's try here. Okay, how about over here? Nope. Okay, we can't use the candle there. Well, truth to, to be told, I wasn't. Was, I didn't really expect that we could. Oh, hey, that, there's the the phone phone mast. Okay. And we still can't go here. No. We have to go to the service station. So now we got a candle. That's a that's progress. But what the hell are, we, hell are we gonna do with a candle? Oh, we use it... Okay, so we use it here. We can use it as a source of light here. Okay, that's a... That's a bit strange. A power box. But we don't have anything we can use to open it. But then again, why would we, why would we want to turn it off? Mm -hmm. My brother, he disappeared a few years back. People say he's probably dead, but I want to know what happened to Ben. Ben, I, oh. I just wanted... <laughs> I have to know. I need to learn more. Okay, I think Ben was that guy uh, guy who we met at the service station in the first game. Uh, wasn't he? Wasn't his picture uh, on the uh, on the wall over there as well? Was it Ben Kendall or something? But yeah, I think it was Ben after all. Mhm. Mm Interesting mark. Uh, that mark actually 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 rem reminds me of those uh, 
twig symbols that 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 were that were hanging from the trees in the Blair Witch Project movie. That movie scared the little living shit out of me when I was a kid. Okay. This looks like a junkyard. Aha, uh -huh, so now we are on the other side. Okay, nice. We're making progress here, folks. Ah, oh, yes, I rem rem remember this place. This is basically the service station's junkyard. Oh, hey, it's the same tricycle from the first game. Okay. Oh, we can... Okay. Oh, hey, it's... Oh, hey, that's a... What do you call that? Well, um, well, I'm sure, sure, I'm sure that the game will tell us. Slingshot. Oh yeah, that's what it was. Slingshot. Okay. So now we got a slingshot. Nice. Would pref would uh, prefer a gun though, but a slingshot ha has to do. Okay. I, I was just, I was just wondering if something was behind us. And I can see a wrench over there. That's what they're called. Wrenches. Yeah, and these tools. There's a couple of them actually. And there's an axe. I want that fucking axe. Now uh, can't you... I'll have to go back like this. Is it a cat or a rat or what the hell is that? I don't know. But it looks like there's nothing else that we can pick up. Oh, there's a... Oh, okay, there's a door. But it's locked. I really want that axe, though. I would feel a lot safer with an axe. Danger, unstable building. And we need a key for that, by the looks of things. Oh, what about this door? Oh, we can get in here. Oh, hey, this is the office. Electricity utility key. Okay, so this goes to the uh, power box, I guess. Anything else here? Hmm, yeah. Okay, oh wait, I didn't want to leave. Just double check it that there's nothing that we are missing. No, I guess I guess we only came here for the key. Okay, let's just leave, I guess. Oh. Well, I would love to. You could guide me out of the woods. I feel a bit safer already. I want to see my brother one last time. I created a pentacle, made the offerings. It should have worked. I have to know. The dark path. It was supposed to help. Yes. I can see the old tractor. I must be near the old farm. Uh huh. Why are you filming yourself while running? Back in the coin. Ba ba back in trouble. It's close. It's coming for me. Did you hear that? Yeah, I did. Whatever she's saying. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, let's ho hope that she's all right. Aha, uh -huh, this... This looks an interesting rock. I don't know... I don't know if this is a good idea. We are just... <laughs> breaking it like... Oh, 
I guess it was a good idea. Ah, so this is the a SIM card that the guy on the radio mentioned. Okay, but... Oh, there's a... there's fire. But can we... can we combine... No, does it look like we can actually com uh, put the SIM card into our phone or anything? Hmm? Okay. Don't know if I like the sound of that. Uh, before we go there, let's look around some more. What's this? Barrow Hill Quoit. The stone structure was built around 6,000 years ago. It is a, a, ne a Neolithic uh, chambered tomb constructed from local uh, granite to house the burial remains of leaders, wise men and warriors. Later, the quit was used for Bronze Age uh, uh, funerary rituals and other ceremonies. Well, okay. I, nev I never heard I never heard anything about this in the first game. Well, that's a graffiti. Just checking if there's any items or anything that we should pick up before we leave. And the rock and the rock formation is back up somehow. Yeah, okay, there's nothing else interesting here. Oh, we can go here though. Ah, oh, but we can't go further because it's too dark, I guess. Okay. Well, let's go here if we can. What is this, a hippie cave? Okay. This looks like an interesting place, but where the hell is that annoying sound coming from? From a, from a phone? Or iPad or something? Is it coming from this? Whatever that... What, 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 what the hell ever this thing is? Oh no, it is a phone. Oh hey, that's the radio hostess from, from, the, from the first game. Uh, her name was just mentioned, but I forgot it already. Emma, I think it was. Phew, Mia, finally. I've been trying to phone you for ages. Why yeah. haven't you been answering me? I was worried sick. I recognize that voice. I told your parents I would keep an eye on you. Please, just tell me you're not out tonight. You or your friends. It's the equinox. You know that. A bad night. Not a normal night. It's a night when things can happen. I know you're still seeking answers for your bro brother. I've told you I'm still investigating too. Why can't you just leave it? M M Mia? Mia, that is you, yeah? Nope. Who, who is this? Why have you got Mia's phone? Where, where, where is she? Uh, I don't know. La uh, last time I heard, she was going to the old old farm uh, place. Oh, is, is that a ID card? Mia Kendall. Okay. And there's an interesting rock for me, so f uh, for some rituals or something, I guess. Hmm? Pebbles. Um, I, I have to put them back there. No. Okay, we have to bring something else here, I guess. What's that? Okay, it's a shirt. Sore point. Maybe that's a logo a logo of some school or university or college or something. Uh, bygones. Old uh, Firaj, uh, Firaj place. Saint Awful. But is there anything inside? I guess not. And some cute uh, girly sneakers. Oh, there's another SIM card. So this is Mia Kendall's sneaker. Okay. So that was the... Oh, wait. Can I look at this closer? So this is Barrow Farm. Okay. And this... Oh, they're both from Barrow Farm. 
Okay. Yeah, please leave. Leave. There we go. And this. Sword Point Academy. Okay, so it so it's an academy. Mia Kendall. Old Science C V N Q, whatever that means. And she's been a student since twenty fourteen. And I guess she's graduated in twenty seventeen. Student. Okay. Nothing else here, by the looks of it. And there's a computer here as well. But you know what? I'm gonna end this episode here. And the next, and, and in the next episode, we are gonna check out this laptop here, and some, and 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 there's actually a lot, and there's actually a lot of stuff that we can that we can inspect and maybe even pick up. And then can we go over there? Well, well, I don't know. But I guess that we'll find out in the in the next episode. So, thank you for watching, and see you next time for more Barrow Hill, The Dark Path.